ankle up and trying to put weight towards my head. Okay? Again, if this guy really knows what he's doing in a far ankle position, right, he kind of understands the dynamics of what's trying to go on. Now, this is what I want you to think about doing. Any, and you can set this up and do it on your own. Um, one of our guys, Joey Laser, he's an All-American for you and I. Like, probably one of the more innovative scramble minds that I've been around, um, other than Roper. Um, he's up at, he was up at UNI, but he was doing a lot of stuff, like, just kind of winging it. And when he got to UNI, Doug Schwab wasn't there, and the coach was just like, we're going to try to change what you're doing instead of just embracing what he was good at. He pinned Kyle Dake in high school with, like, a back trap. Like, he was very unorthodox, but he had a very high level of success, all right? But this was a position that he baits a lot of people in. So what he does is he actually uses his elbow to clear out this leg right here with far ankle. And as this guy's trying to pick my foot up and drive my head down to the mat, he just uses this position to sit up and split the guy. Okay? So you can either set it up by digging your elbow in right here and you kind of end up in that ankle duck position a little bit when we sit up. Or, if you're getting beat to death and the guy's just picking, picking your ankle up and driving your head down right here, it's the same position. Now, I'm going to dig behind his knee with my elbow and I'm going to drive off my free foot. Does everybody see how my free foot's driving? Now, as I drive off my free foot and dig with my elbow, as I get to this position right here, I'm going to kick his foot off and sit up. Okay? Right here. Same position we've been getting to. Now. When you first start doing it, don't worry about kicking his hand off your off your ankle. All right. This looks like it won't work. It really works. All right. Especially if that guy's pulling up real hard on your ankle. When you're trying to kick the foot or kick the hand off your foot, don't try to find his arm. You'll never find it. Just try to find your foot and kick down beside your foot. Just find your find your leg and just kick down beside your foot. You'll get his arm every time. Okay. So we're in this far ankle position. And again. I can either set it up, or maybe he's beating me and my head's down, and I got to dig out right here. And I dig out, I'm just posting on my head, digging behind the knee. And as he keeps pulling up on this foot, he really creates the situation on his own. See how I'm swimming here, trapping everything in my armpit, pushing off this foot. Now, when I'm upside down, I just find my leg right here, kick down by my foot. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm using this momentum to sit up. Trapping in my armpit, both arms in, wrestle through that position. Okay, so halfway fast, all right? And again, we're just battling in position, and I'm making adjustments here. Battling, maybe I'm pushing into him, he tries to step up, right here, okay? Maybe I end up here, and I don't kick his foot off. Right back to where we were a second ago, right? When we sat through and split him, weight on my feet, head and chest up, bottom shoulder, wrestle through that position, okay? And again, the more comfortable you get sitting and splitting, keeping your head up, attacking those positions, the better off you're going to be. There's very small percentage of guys in the country at your age that know any of this stuff. Or that Jeff trained it enough consistently to know what to do in these positions. Right? So you put some time and effort into it, get some comfort level with it, pretty doggone dangerous. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? Yeah. One more time. All right. Woo! Okay. So again, most important thing is clearing out with my outside elbows. So the first time you do it, all I want you to do is this. Just lean over, clear out, far ankle. Okay? Post your head on the mat, free foot, push up in the air. Dig with your elbow, and then roll through all at one time. I don't even care if you don't get him off your foot, but I want you to feel this finish position, then the rest is easy. We've been here a bunch. Okay? And then you can focus on kicking the foot off, sitting up, splitting all that stuff. Go! Nope.